welcome. This is Udu Mats. And please let me entreat you to subscribe, like, and share this channel. Okay, so today I want us to look at simultaneous linear equation, and then we are going by the elimination method. We are going by the elimination method. Okay, so let's look at this example. We have to find the values of x and y that satisfy the equations 5x plus 2y equals 34 and x plus 3y equals 25. Okay, so and for elimination, what we are to do is to make sure that the variable that we are going to eliminate has the same coefficients on the two um, in both the um, the equations. The variable that we are going to eliminate has the two has the same coefficients in both the two equations or in both equations. Okay, so if I want to eliminate x, then it means this place should be five, or if I want to eliminate y. This, these two places should be either um, the same, should be of the same value. Okay, so if I'm, I'm removing x, so in this case, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 1 and then equation 2 by 5 so that I'll get 5, 5 in both. So let's start. You multiply equation 1 by 1 and equation 2 by 5. So we multiply equation 1 by the coefficients of just x here. Because we, we are eliminating x. So by 1 and then equation 2 by the coefficients of this one. That is 5. Okay. So now let's start. So we are multiplying equation 1 by 1 and then equation 2 by 5. So we are multiplying equation 1 by that is going to be 5x plus 2y equals 34. Let me call this equation 3 because we've multiplied it by a certain value so let me name it equation 3 then we are multiplying equation 2 also by um, 5 so this is going to give me 5x plus 3y sorry multiplying by become 15y so 15y equals 5 times this becomes um, 1 2 5 let me call it equation 4 okay now the two equations pass the coefficients of x will be the same. So in this case, we can decide to um, either subtract thus the two equations. And note thus, for simultaneous um, elimination method, if you want to subtract or add, check the variable that you are eliminating. If it has got or it has the same sign that is positive and negative, if both are positive, we subtract. If they are negative, we subtract. But if one is negative and one is positive, we add. I hope it is clear. Okay, so let's subtract equation 1 and equation 3 from equation 4. That is to say equation 4 minus equation 3. So let me put negative sign here. So equation 4 minus equation 3. Now 5 minus 5 will be 0. So 15 minus 2 becomes 13y. And then 125 minus 34. Okay, so 125 minus 34 becomes 91. Then we divide both sides by 13. So our, um, let me put it here. Our y becomes, becomes 7. Okay. So we had y to be 7. Okay. So now we put y equals 7 into this time any of the two equations. So let me put it in equation y and equation 2. And equation 2 is um, x plus 3y equals 25. So that is equation 2. So where I see y, I'll put 7 there. So this is going to give me x plus 3 into bracket 7 equals 25. So this is x plus 21 equals 25. That is 3 times 7 is 21. So x becomes 25 minus 21. And then x is going to be 4. So therefore, x is equal to 4. And then y is also um, 7. Okay. Okay, so let's look at this example also. We have to solve the simultaneous equations y equals x squared plus 3x and y equals x squared minus 3x plus 0.5. So this one, 
this is, um, if I am to say, it's very cheap because we see y is equal to this and then y is also equal to this. And in two equations, the y's are the same. So we can decide to equate the two equations. So that is going to be, let me write, um, so um, equating, equating y in the two equations. In the two equations, we have um, x squared plus 3x equals x squared minus 3x plus 0 0.5. Okay, so um, here we can cancel the two, or if I am to bring this, the x's in one side, so that is x squared, this one, minus x squared, then plus 3x minus, sorry, plus 3x, because when this cross it becomes positive plus 3x equals 0 0.5 okay now these two will go away so 3x plus 3x becomes 6x then this is equal to um let me change this to 1 over 2 because it's the same as um, 0 0.5 now i'll divide both sides by 6 so i am going to divide the two by 6 so x becomes um, this is like 1 over 2 times um, 1 over 6 so that is going to give me 1 over 12 so x is this. So our y, I'm sorry, x is equal to 1 over 12. So we put x equals 1 over 12 into, um, um, into any of the equations. So let me pick the first one, that is into y equals x squared plus 3x. Okay, so y becomes um, 1 over 12. 1 over 12 squared plus 3 into 1 over 12. So this is going to give me um, 1 over 144, 144 plus this is also going to be 3 over. So in this case, let me do simple calculation. 3 into itself, 1 here, um, 4. So that is going to be 1 over 4. Okay, so y becomes. Now let me go by the simple method. I'm going to put the LCM. That is um, 144. Okay, so um, the LCM is 144. Now, 144 into 144 will be 1. That is 144 divided by 144 will be 1. Now, 1 times 1 is also 1. Okay, so 1 times 1 is 1. Then, um, 4 plus 4 into 144 is 36. 36 times 1 is 36. So, this is going to give me um, 1 plus 36. That is 37 over 144 okay so that is the value of y which is 37 sorry 37 over 144 okay okay so now let's solve one more example um, this is basically for those doing economics or those doing uh, mathematics or um, business studies and the rest let's look at it now address manufacturing company produces a quantity of dresses and sells them. The costs and revenue equations of the manufacturer were found to be C of X equals 25X plus 80,000 and R of X equals 75X respectively. Find the break-even quantity. Okay. So now for break-even, for break even, um, the cost should be equal to the revenue. So that is C of X should be equal to R of X. And our C of X is um, 25X plus 80,000. And that should be equal to our R of X, which is 75X. So since this is equated, we can bring this one here so that. It will remain only 80,000. That is broken like terms. So I can rewrite this as 75x minus 25x equals 80,000. Okay, so um, this is going to give me uh, 50x and then this equal to 80,000. Now we divide both side by 50. So this side to by 50. Now this will take care of this zero and then 5 into 80. To give me 16. So 5 divided 80 
becomes 16. Now 16 with these two zeros, x becomes 1600. Okay. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and then subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.